your girl Keila Mina here. If you're new, welcome to the crew. If you're back, you already know that I mess with you. So today, you guys, I will be doing my makeup and just talking, you know? So I'm not really gonna go into detail about what I'm using or anything like that. We're just gonna kind of focus on the conversation for this one. And then I am talking about like dating and relationships and like marriage and like a bunch of controversial topics. I'm not gonna really say controversial, but everybody has different opinions about what I'm gonna say. So feel free to leave a comment down below. Let's chit chat, you know. Make sure you guys leave a comment because I want to know what you think and I'm ready to debate. So, so I'm going to just start this video by putting some lip gloss on because your girl lips are a little crusty, okay? Just put me some lip gloss on. Okay. There we go. There we go. Let's get started, okay? Because this um stuff i need to talk about is some stuff i need to get off my chest you know so we just gonna do it you know a lot of folks ain't gonna like what i got to say but i really don't care like i promise you i don't care so you can share your opinion too girl like share how you feel like let's debate let's talk about it like so this conversation like started because i don't know i was talking to a lot of my girlfriends and even like being in a relationship and seeing how a relationship should be and then like also being around men more than I have been like I kind of peep and see certain things and I just wanted to get some stuff off my chest like oh and then also like I started this I decided to have this conversation because of the um Jasmine S Sullivan album it's called Hotels. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Like, I did not listen to her, like, at all. Like, I can't ever remember, like, any of her songs or nothing like that. I could be sleeping on her, you know? But anyway, I listened to her new project. It's called Hotels or whatever. And, like, it really spoke to me. And I've had it on repeat for a while now. Like, I definitely like it. But it's called Hotel. So, if you haven't listened to it, go listen to it. But, like, you can just imagine what is on the album if it's called hotels you know it kind of tells stories and situation that she's been in and it just made me think like a lot about my life and like how i want my life and my views on relationships and marriages and everything so we are going to talk about that album a lot in this video because like it really got me thinking and please go listen to my sis because that's that album is like really good and I feel like she only got the idea to do the album because you know Summer Walker, SZA, like everybody is like being their true self and for freaking um WAP you know everybody is like being their true self and like not afraid to tell their story like sexually relationship wise so I feel like she did this album like on a good period of time you know like a good era for it you know I feel like our, genera our generation or my generation it has been like very open and vocal about you know the whole life relationships like our my generation has made it okay to speak up you know because I feel like the generation before us or our parents they just did whatever the man said and left it at that didn't fight you know type stuff I don't know where I'm going with this and I might ramble a lot in the video so just like <laughs> try to follow along. <laughs> But, like, I love it. Like, I'm here for the girls opening up about how we feel. And men get to say all the time how they feel about every situation, you know. And we not allowed to speak up. Or we are crazy when we speak up. Or we're a hoe. Or we're sexually okay with ourselves, you know. So, I'm definitely here for the girls. And be vocal about what's going on. And how we feel, you know. Because what I got to be quiet for? For what? Why? Why well, can't have sex with five different men if you can have sex with five different women? Like, and that's the other thing. Like, gender roles and stuff. Like, oh, I'm going to ramble <laughs> a lot in this video. Okay, let me just get my thoughts together so I can make sure I am staying on track and, like, making sense when I talk. Because I feel like I'm just rambling. So what also made me want to even start talking about this topic is because, like, I had made a post 
or whatever and I sent a message to my boyfriend and I was just asking him hey do I have your permission to do the to do the busted challenge and I'm actually doing my makeup now so I can record my busted challenge but I had sent my boyfriend a message was like hey do I have your permission to do the busted challenge and I posted it on my close friends on Instagram and then people were like I can't believe you have to ask for permission stuff like that but it's just like even if I did have to ask for permission, like, this is my relationship. And then also, like, first of all, let me just make this clear. Me asking him was a joke, you know? It was just a joke. I just wanted to see what he's going to say. It was just a joke. But, even, like I said, even if I did not have to ask for his permit, even if I did have to ask for his permission, this is my relationship, so you can't tell me how I should run it, you know? Or how we do things. But it's also just, like, a respect thing, like... My dude is going to tell me if he feels like my dress is too short or my dude is or I'm going to tell him if I don't like something that is going on, you know? So, why do y'all feel the need to comment on what I have going on? And even if I did have to ask for permission, like it's nobody's business but me and him, you know? And then it was like a lot of single people too, like maybe y'all are single because you can't like I ain't even gonna talk about that. I'm gonna just stop. I'm not gonna say you can't. I'm not gonna say you're single because you can't like submit to a man or whatever. But it's just like, even if I am submitting to him, like he's submitting to me too. And that's kind of something that I wanna talk about. So, so I have a friend that's like in a relationship right now. She does 80 and everything for this man. She will make him freaking three meals a day and a snack in a little sandwich bag with a freaking heart on it like she would go all out for her man to do everything that this man wants her to do but my thing is if I'm going to be doing all that you're going to have to be doing the same thing like if I'm going to be crazy about you and doing everything that you ask all the time you're going to have to do the same thing for me and that's just on period so the guy asked the girl for a break in their relationship so like he can just be a hoe and like get that stuff out of his system and like He's young, he still wants to have fun and all this and all that, but like, I don't know, I could, I, don't, I think if my dude asked me for a break, I definitely, like, could not give it to him, like, no, you can't just go fuck these hoes and still entertain me and keep me, like, you gotta choose, nigga, I don't know, <laughs> I just feel like I can't, I wouldn't be able to do that, and then it's also like, if you're not ready, like, I will find a guy who will get ready, like, I don't have to deal with that. Like, I don't have to accept a break. I don't have to... I don't have to do that. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but I just don't fuck with it. And then I think my friend asked the guy, like, what is it that you need that you're not getting from me? Or what is it that I'm missing? Or, you know, and he couldn't answer. Like, if I'm going to be cooking you four meals a day and freaking rubbing lotion on your feet... And, like, doing all this other stuff. Like, if I'm worshiping the ground you walk on, you have to worship the ground that I walk on, too. Because this isn't... This ain't that. Like, it's just not that. I don't really remember where I left off at. So, I'm going to just keep talking. But I think it was just, like, I'm not going to do... I'm not going to be a million things for only to be getting played behind closed doors. Like, I'm not going to be a gymnast in a bedroom, a chef in the kitchen... Like, I'm not going to be a porn star in the bedroom and, like, doing all this for you if you're not worshiping the ground that I walk on. Like, and then I just learned that men are going to do whatever they want. Like, you could be the perfect woman. Like I said, you could be that acrobat. You could be that freaking bitch that pay rent. Like Jasmine Sullivan said, she said she would pay rent for a man. She said she buying tires for this man. Threesomes. You doing all of this, and this nigga is still going to do what he want, you know? So, okay, so the Jasmine Sullivan lyrics that I made me think about stuff like this, it said, don't know what I was missing, whatever you asked me, I would have given. But, girl, you wasn't missing nothing. That nigga just dumb. Like, on to the next one, you know? Because a lot of these niggas, you will give your everything to, you will give your all to. You will damn near lose yourself trying to make this nigga happy. And then at the end of the day, he don't care about you and he's still going to leave you. Like, and I'm not just speaking, I'm not, I'm not bitter, you know, because like my relationship is good and it's nothing like, 
what's going on here yeah like my man is still a man and he has tendencies or whatever the case may be but like he not out here like being foul like it, a lot of these niggas is foul like how am i paying your rent and buying you tires and paying for trips and you out here doing whatever the fuck you want to do like that is so lame to me you know and like I said, it wasn't nothing wrong with you, sis, for him to leave you. There was nothing wrong with you. It was that nigga. It was that nigga. That's what he wanted to do. He wanted to have his whole phase. And then, like, that's kind of the problem that a lot of my peers and friends my ages are running into is because they found, like, the person they want to be with. But this person, they want to still have their whole phase and they want to date around and they just want to be a nigga. They just want to fuck. They just want to do all this other stuff, but it's like, damn, like, I'm in love with you right now, you know? So what do we do? Because you're in love with me, too. So why are you playing? But I guess it's just a guy thing. Like, they want to have their cake and eat it, too. They want to have you, but then they also want all these hoes. And I just think that's, like, crazy to me. Like, it's mind-blowing. But I guess that's a nigga for you. So, like, me as a lover, or me... Yeah, me as a lover, I'm very, like, giving, like... Everybody was laughing because, like, Jasmine Sullivan said, she said she would pay this man's rent or whatever the case may be. Shoot, I'll buy you a car, bro. If I had the money, like, if I was a rich bitch, I'll buy you a car. I'll pay your rent. I'll do all this for you, you know? But then, Jasmine Sullivan just made me wonder, like, what type of man she was dealing with. Like, did it have a curve in it, sis? Like, who is this man? I just need to put a face to a name because... The way she talking, she talking about some. She was finna lose her career for this man. Lose your career? Who is he, Jasmine? Who is he? Uh... That's one thing I. That's one thing I can't do. Like you work so hard to build yourself up, and that's the thing. A lot of these females be losing their self for a man, and I just think that's backwards. I will never like. I'm gonna make sure I'm good first. But then that also makes me wonder how I would be, like, in a marriage. Because, like, I'm not going to say I'm selfish, but, like, I got to be good. <laughs> like, I got to focus on me, too, you know? I know this is a relationship, but at the end of the day, like, you're not always going to be here, you know? One of us will go first. One of us will want a divorce or whatever the case may be. Like, I got to make sure I'm good, you know? I don't... <laughs> I feel like at first I kind of started losing myself in my relationship or whatever because that's literally the only thing I would focus on. But like now I'm into YouTube, I'm into makeup, I do my lashes, like I do stuff to make myself happy, you know? And at first like the only thing I could think about and focus on was this dude. So I'm not going to sit here and act like I never lost myself or whatever. I definitely did but at the beginning of this relationship I was like what, 19, 20? So, like, I was still a little baby, you know? I was just still in the, like, what's it called? I'm not going to say the, um... I was just in the beginning phase, you know, of a serious relationship, you know? I was just young-minded. I was just young-minded, you know? So, I, well, I did lose myself, but <laughs> that's never going to happen again. I'm going to make sure I'm straight at the end of the day. So, like, the next question for today's topic or whatever is, like, would I date a man with no money? And that is a really good question that I don't know the answer to. I guess it depends on the circumstance for me. Like, in college, I would date a man that's in college because he getting his money or he getting his education and the money will come later, like. All college kids are broke. 99.9% of the time, all college kids are broke, you know? So, like, if you're in school or whatever, I'll, I'll date you and you ain't got no money. That's cool. We'll figure that out. But if you're a grown man and you ain't got no money, I don't know. Like, I don't want to say money is, is everything. And Jasmine Sullivan's song, what she said, she was just like, in Jasmine Sullivan's album, she said, money keep the pee wet. She said the money make her come. And I don't think I'm that type of bitch. Because first of all, I like to have my own. But I guess I could see where she's coming from with that. Because, like, I have a lot to offer, you know. If I was a bitch that was a millionaire, I probably wouldn't want to be with nobody who wasn't a millionaire like me, you know. I don't think I would want to be with, I wouldn't want to be with somebody that was broke. 
honestly. I don't think I would want to. So I get where she coming from th from that. Like, I'm not a gold digger. Like, you, I can't say that I only date men with money because I date for love. And not every relationship is for love, you know? A lot of people marry for, like, stability. A lot of people marry for money. A lot of people consider marriage a business move rather than, like, a commitment of love you know I feel like a lot of females and like my generation we are okay with leaving a nigga where they had us fucked up like Desi said what'd she say I'm real good at leaving niggas where they had me fucked up where they had me fucked up real good at leaving niggas where they had me fucked up like <laughs> period sis like leave that nigga like if a motherfucker is not respecting you and your boundaries or like just dogging you leave that nigga he'll probably try to come back and that's okay if you take him back because i take mine back too but leave that nigga <laughs> for real and then it's just like they say that you know whatever one woman won't do another woman will but it's also just like shit whatever one man won't do another one will so if he's wilding out and acting an ass, he's out. Bye. See you later. Sayonara. Bye. See you later, alligator. I'm here for the girls treating these niggas like they're disposable. Because, I mean, essentially they are. I'm over here talking like I'm single when I'm not. That is so funny. But I really just like telling uh. it how it is, like. I don't know. <laughs> I definitely am in a relationship and I don't see myself ever leaving my dude. But like, I just understand too. Like, I understand where the girls are coming this from. It might have been too dark, you guys. Really trying to blend for the gods. I just tried to do like a different look and use stuff that I don't normally use. You know, just have to make sure we blend it. Y'all ready for my busted challenge? <laughs> I'm gonna be so cute, y'all. The topic or the question for the girls lately has been would I date or would you date a man with no money or whatever? And going back on that, I would, I'm gonna just say I got a lot to offer. And like Diara say, I can't just be giving my offerness, my a lot to offerness to just anybody, you know? Basically, I'm saying if you ain't got no money, then I must not have no money too. I don't know if I would date a man with no money though. Because, I mean, if you have potential or if you're working towards a real goal, you know, it might be okay. I'm not saying you gotta be rich, but you definitely gotta be, like, stable. Like, we can't be homeless and, like, it depends on how broke you talking, I think. I think it depends on how broke you talking for me. And then it's just like, I also don't know if I would date a man with no money because I've been in a relationship for so long. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, because I mean, I don't mind holding us down until you get your money together, you know? And then I also don't just go looking to date men who only have money, you know? Like, I, like I said, I date for love and a lot of people date and marry for business purposes, you know? Like I said, it's a lot of gold diggers out here because like I say, Jasmine Sullivan said, money keep the pee wet. Money keep the pee wet. She said that money keep the that money keep the wet. Hey. I have my lashes on. These are from the Lash Grind and Stop Boss. I didn't really want to wear these because like, I feel like it takes away from like, my like, eyes, you know? Because I did like a really cute like look, you know, but you can't see it with the freaking lashes on. But it's okay. I'm going to just wear it or whatever. I sell lashes myself. Like I could show you guys my lash boxes. I sell lashes myself, but like I can't. All of my lashes are at my shop or whatever. I don't really keep them at home, which is dumb. I definitely should for makeup looks or whatever. But anyway, um... I have seen girls do like bottom lashes and I really want to try it so 
I think we're gonna try it. I don't really know how it's supposed to look though, so I'm just gonna wing it. Even if I have to cut them shorter, I'll cut them shorter. But I always thought the bottom lashes were so cute and so different, so I'm just gonna add these motherfuckers on. That's like way too long. I don't like that. Maybe we have to try this with some different lashes, cause that ain't it, sus. Did ain't it? 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 I'm gonna take that off, cause that look crazy. Yeah, that look crazy. We're just gonna take it off. We're we're not gonna try that today. We're gonna try that a different day. But yeah, so I'm gonna go do my hair or whatever, and then I will come back so you guys can see. So I want to say thank you guys for watching. Please leave your comments down below and let me know how you feel, what you're thinking about what I said, you know. Comment and just let me know what's up. What's tea?